Hello guys, this is Chetan Parma and you are watching my another video on list uh, data type. So lists in Python are similar to arrays in C or Java. Maybe you heard about arrays in C and Java. Okay, so there if you want to declare any array in C. So what we does? Suppose int data type. What is array? Let's understand more about array. Then you can easily understand about how to uh, declare it, and you can also compare it with Python. How it is different, and we have a lot of good advantage in uh, this Python. Okay, so let's understand it. Suppose we have one uh, data type and only one variable a equals to ten. If you want to, uh, if you want to declare one more variable, and if we are required one more variable of integer data type only, so what we will do? Int b equals to twenty, and like that. If you want to ten elements, so we have to declare ten elements, and then we have to assign new value to it. So it is very overwhelming. What is overhead work here? Declaring every time new element. This is overheading overhead work here. So how to reduce it? So here in C we have concept of array declaration. Then what is array? Array is a set of same data type. Okay. So if you want to declare array of ten, so what does compiler do? Compiler assign ten integer values, contiguous integer, uh, integ uh, contiguous memory. In the uh, in our computer, okay. So ten means ten into four equals to forty bytes of memory, contiguous memory has been allocated by the computer, or by the compiler. Okay. So <clears throat> here, if you if I want to uh, store any value inside that, so indexing we will do, and we can easily store inside it. Okay. So with the help of indexing, I can store. Zero to nine, okay, because uh, it started from zero, and uh, it because it is uh, started with uh, with zero, so it will go up to uh, nine. Ten is not included here, okay. So indexing in all uh, programming language, indexing starts from zero itself, okay. So <clears throat> like that we can do in C, but in Python, uh, list. Same as array. So lists in Python are similar to arrays in C or Java. A list represents a group of elements, as like C. The main difference between a list and an array is that a list can store different uh, data types of elements, but an array can only store one data type. Here, array can store only integer data type. If I want to store float data type, if I want to declare a float, so it will store only float data type. If I want to uh, store character inside that, so it will uh, it will do char a ten, so it will only store character only. Okay, but in our list we can store any kind of data type, multiple data type. Okay, and different types of data type we can store inside the list. Also, lists can grow dynamically in memory. Maybe you have uh, studied, if you have studied C and Java, if you want dynamic memory instead of contiguous memory, so there we have two uh, functions such as malloc, calloc, uh, and redlock. Such kind of functions can be used to store uh, any variable or uh, for uh, dynamic memory allocation. But here in Python, List give us uh, the same feature. Okay, we can increase or decrease the size of list according to our requirement. Okay, also list uh, size can increase or decreases, but the size of arrays is fixed as we have studied. Might be some of you haven't studied C or Java till now, but I'm telling in C and Java, C and Java are the static. Uh, languages okay so there we need to declare uh, any variable so it it cannot be increased dynamically as soon as if we are not using another uh, function into it but here it is not like that 
okay so <clears throat> lists are represented using square bracket if i want to declare list so simply i can declare with that okay or because this is an object l is an object of list class so how i will do this i can also declare like this if i want to declare any variable of list data type either i can use this or use this okay and we can uh, store any element inside that if i want to store element like 1 0 chetan because i told you it can store multiple data type 1.0 or any other like minus 20 it accepts all the different types of data types okay so the slicing concept is also introduced in list only if i want to uh, like retrieve one from here so what i can do just print this print this okay i'll get one from here if i want to uh, uh, retrieve chetan from here so 0 1 2 so instead of 0 i can retrieve 2 okay so this is indexing 0 1 2 3 4 this is called indexing if i want to retrieve element from 0 to uh, to chetan 1 to chetan so what i will do i will do simply <clears throat> in the slicing so 0 to Z 3 you you might amazed i told up to chetan but i am including 3 uh, 1.0 here so here uh, trick is that key 3 is not including here included here it is excluded so if we had taken 0 to 3 so it will retrieve only 1 0 and chetan so this is theoretical part of list let's do some programming so we'll understand more about this okay so l equals to see as i told you either i can do like this or this uh, or list equal to list data type okay i made it and i want to check uh, the type of both of this type l and print type list this is variable list okay uh, let me do some changes here capital l so capital l okay so this is variable here so let's print it okay so this is list dot pi our program name is so here you can see the object l or list both uh, are belongs to class list okay and both are the object of class list so i hope you have understood here Ki we can declare our list we can declare the list variable variable using using any of this method this method okay <clears throat> so this is it now i just want to store any variable into it suppose i just want to store one then next chetan then uh, another is minus two then uh, some float value also okay then also one more uh, <coughs> variable inside that mary okay and first of all i just want to uh, print this list okay and then i will also want to print one and chetan only okay so what i will do i will do slicing so as i told you if i want to print <coughs> 1 and chetan so this is index 0 and this is index 1 but i have to include 2 here to print both these things okay so l 0 2 1 2 
because 0, 1 and 2. But 2 is not included here. Okay. So let's print it. So here you can see. First, we have printed entire list. So entire list has been retrieved. And in next, we have done slicing. So we wanted to print only one and Chetan. So that's why one and Chetan has been retrieved. So I hope you have understood it. <clears throat> Some more thing I just want to show you regarding this. If I will do print uh, L zero only zero and colon. Okay, then I uh, leave it. So what happened? It will cover entire list. Okay. Uh, one thing is here and <clears throat> suppose you want to uh, retrieve the last element from here okay so you need uh, you no need to know about the entire length here python provides you some special feature what is this the feature of minus indexing so minus indexing covers the element from last so if i will do minus 1 okay so it will retrieve only last element if I want to print second last, then it will, uh, we need to do minus 2. It hasn't start from 0 because 0 is uh, reserved from the first element. So if you, if you are thinking minus 0 because minus 0 is not possible. So it will only cover minus from minus 1 itself. So let me write, uh, let me print it. So then you will understand more about this. So here you can see. This is one uh, very first print L. So print L prints entire list, then slicing 0 to 2. So it prints only one and Chetan. Then slicing, we had done slicing, but we haven't covered uh, the last, like we have included first, but we haven't included uh, second. So second indexing we haven't provided yet. So what it retrieved us entire list because it's uh, it thinks key okay if you are not providing second indexing so I'll uh, include all the elements okay then uh, the last element I wanted to print so I done uh, indexing like l minus one so it has printed Mary here you can see Mary is printed and second last two point zero. So minus 2 printed 2.0. So I hope you have understood it. This is very important concept in our Python. If you have understood it, please do uh, comment. And if you have any kind of problem regarding list, please do comment. I'll cover in my next video. Thank you and have a good day.